is helping students go from the classroom straight to the workforce. Yeah, it does it because this program teaches students trade skills that are very valuable. And as Amy DuPont explains, it also focuses on networking. Few teachers encourage their students to put down their textbooks, but Craig Griffey believes some lessons are better learned with a hard hat. This is why I teach. The Brown Deer teacher wanted to give his students more options, and he found one in the trades. It's a well documented fact that they're having a hard, they're going to have a hard time with all these experienced people retire. Griffey created the Industry Advisory Group, a not-for-credit class with career potential. All they want out of this is just a path forward. The hands-on curriculum of steel, studs, and drywall crafted with the help of Jim Anderson and the North Central States Regional Council of Carpenters. As the trades need younger people coming in. A partnership to draft young people into a field where they're needed. That's what our contractors are hoping for, just that little bit of extra um, help. By the end of the semester, students understand the terminology and skills needed to apply for a paid apprenticeship. A lot of skills, you know. A valuable option for students like Ryan Ah, who are ready to leave the traditional classroom. College isn't for everybody. Um, this is, you know, if you don't want to go to college, you love working their hands. This is a very, very, very good way. Every student also builds connections. They interview with multiple contractors, and most, according to Griffey, are offered an employment contract by the time they graduate. That's the goal, um, is that they can cross the graduation stage knowing that they are uh, ready and qualified to start a registered apprenticeship. Leaving high school with a paycheck, a hard hat. It's a good feeling. And a career. In Brown Deer, Amy DuPont, Fox 6 News. Now, because of the pandemic, the students had to do their job interviews virtually. The job offers will be likely rewarded the same way when they do come. Now, some students may not start until the pandemic ends. The class of